Today, we're going to show you six different chatbot templates that we have created for an educational institution and how this chatbot works. Let us start with our first screen or our first template, which is a basic welcome message that you can employ. As you can see, we have a variable contact dot name which addresses the user or the student and five different options to choose from these five options are the next templates which you will see for now let us look at how the first option will be seen on a mobile device our second template is that of a course selector template. You can add in any number of subjects that your academy or institute provides. In this template, we have employed an ask card and a send message card. In the send message card, you can see according to each course, there is also a document or a PDF. This is how the chatbot will work on your mobile device. Our third template is that of an enrollment form. We are all well aware that admission processes can be streamlined with a chatbot. Your chatbot can deploy a form. In this case, we have used a Google form link that can be placed in your send message card. Let's take a look at how this link is sent. Our next template is that to change a tutor. Many e-learning academies have this option of changing your tutor. We can see that we have added two ask a question cards where the student can either assign a tutor for themselves or have your backend choose a tutor for them. As you can see, we have two ask a question cards taking place in this chatbot flow. Our next template is for that of speaking to a counselor. There is also an option to add an action type to this card. You can assign the conversation to a particular counselor or an agent or leave it to your unassigned bucket. Over here, we are assigning the conversation and you can select on which user you would like to assign the conversation to. Click save while editing this card. Our last and final template is that for student support. We have started with an ask a question card where they, the user can select their specific option if required. Over here, we have also added a response variable. Please ensure that when you're using a response variable, the payload is similar to that of the options. Let me show you what I mean. You can see edit ID on the top of each option. The payload needs to match that of your option text. Let's see how this takes place on a mobile device.
So this is the entire bot flow that we have created with six different templates and we hope this helped you. Thank you.